It's Extreme Makeover Kansas City Symphony Alliance Edition. But in this case, it is college students redecorating a home to raise money for the Kansas City Symphony. This morning, Joel Nichols is inside this year's house to get a sneak peek. And we are in that very room. This is the tween suite. Now I want to show you what it looked like before. This is what it was like before the students from Johnson County Community College uh, came in and started to do their amazing work. We're with two of them this morning. Belinda K. Penaloza is here, and then introduce your friend. Um, this is Kent Hatch. And we introduced him. He's not mic'd, but he got up so early. We wanted to show him up. Uh, tell us what it's like to work in this, in this room for you interior design students. Um, it was great. It was a very um, elaborate experience. We got to meet a lot of different people within the trade, different designers, different uh, people that work in uh, the bath, uh, trades right. and kitchen trades and all this other stuff. So the young woman that will live in this room mm -hmm. left you a note and said, I like these colors, I like this idea, this is what I'm all about. And then you went and created a room that she will really love. Yes, um, we really wanted to create a room that she could grow up into. Uh, the room had been very pink, very something that when she was five is exactly what she wanted. <laughs> And so we wanted something that, you know, when if she decides to go to college here locally or something like that in, you know, eight years, right. she can still enjoy the room. She can still use it and have it be something beautiful and age appropriate no matter what age she is. Where does this experience take you as students to be able to be given a project like this? What do you think that does for you as you go down the road in your, in your field? I think that this is the first real experience, at least for me, where you get to see the practical side. Um, when we're creating boards and whatnot in school, you don't get to see the harder end. You can like be like, oh yeah, I want these drapes because they're the right color. And right. then in real life, you go and you try to find them and they might be $1,000 and that's not in your <laughs> that's budget. Not your, so, your budget. It yeah. really makes you think in the real world. Mm -hmm. That's really a great thing. And this whole uh, house is a, an inspiration. It helps the Kansas City Symphony at the same time starting this Saturday, April 21st into May. You can come and visit this house, help the symphony at the same time. And then at the end of May, the young woman that will live in this room gets to move back to her house and enjoy this beautiful room designed by Johnson County Community College students. Pretty neat idea. Everybody working together. Back to you. Joel, I love the colors in that room. Would you ask her if it was really hard to paint the gradual like ombre on the wall that she did? Yeah, what's that? What's this called back here? Ombre? Oh, ombre wall. And is that a tough thing to do? It is. Yeah. <laughs> we had somebody who was kind of a specialist. Wow. This is what he does art and whatnot, so. What yeah, I heard is, neat. Lindsay, yeah. you can't do that. Thank that you so much. Is that hard to do? Yes, yes it is. That's very <laughs> difficult exactly. to do. Leave it to the professionals. <laughs> Thanks, Joel.